My oldest daughter is getting ready to head off to college, and instead of sending her off with the computer that we built in 2011 on an AMD structure, we're gonna go ahead and give her a little bit of an upgrade today and hopefully send her off with something that's gonna work for her for the next several years. So here's what we're doing. There are some fantastic prices on components right now. I feel that they are better than they've been in, in a long time. With AMD releasing the 3000 series Ryzen processors and the X570 chipset and the new motherboards that will cometh along, uh, that is leaving some current gen hardware at some fantastic prices. Now, my daughter's not gonna need X570 and she doesn't need a Ryzen 3000 processor, but she does need something that she's gonna be able to do all of her workflow on through college um, and hopefully it will do it quickly and will remain relevant through you know two to four years depending upon what she decides to do. Um, this is not going to be a gaming rig but because of the fact that there are some really good prices to be had right now on graphics cards I did end up picking up a um, Sapphire Pulse RX 570 card for her for just over a hundred dollars. This thing was a fantastic deal on Amazon. On uh, I went down to Micro Center because they had a crazy deal on the B450F motherboard for $89 if uh, priced with a compatible processor and you know how they do their $30 discount so ended up picking up the Ryzen 7 2700 for about $130. Uh, over Black Friday I ended up picking up a couple of really good deals on uh, some, uh, P uh, some power supplies so I happen to have this one lying around and right now uh, SSD pricing is ridiculously low. You see I don't have my RAM in here, which RAM prices have dropped also. I've got a 16 gig uh, Corsair kit that I picked up for her for um, 80 bucks I believe. And then we're going to stick it all inside this Fantex uh, P400 um, chassis, which I actually like to build in. That's not as fantastic of airflow as some of their current cases are. Uh, and some of the stuff that they've got coming. However, this is definitely gonna suit her needs again. She's just using it for school work, um, that type of stuff. So anyway, let's dive on into this and get things going. Well, here's how it turned out, and I'm very happy with it. I think it uh, is very clean. Uh, it's simple, I didn't do anything uh, crazy high-end here, um, outside of maybe saying that the uh, Ryzen 7 2700 might be considered high-end, but uh, otherwise I pretty much kept things, again, as a budget PC for her to use, uh, but one that's gonna work very well for her while she's at college. 
Uh, I got my post right off the bat, which is great, which means now all I have to do is lo uh, load Windows, uh, let her play around with the colors, and uh, see what she likes. I did use some Thermaltake uh, fans that have their own hub for RGB, and so that, I'm actually pretty excited about that. I think it's cool. And, uh, no pun intended, hopefully it does keep it cool. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what this video is. A uh, real simple, real short one. Just a quick build vlog, if you will. And Anyway, uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. If you don't like the video, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. And please hit that subscribe button, uh, share it. And if you got any uh, comments or questions, please listen below. Otherwise, have a great week. We'll see you next.